Over the past five years, Apple has been using a new type of keyboard called the Butterfly Keyboard. It has lots of problems, and many people are not buying a MacBook because of this keyboard. It all started in 2015 when Apple announced the new 12-inch MacBook, which had a new keyboard to make the device thinner, and that keyboard could easily break if any dust or debris finds a way under the device. A common problem. Not too many people cared because that was not a laptop that sold well. But then in October 2016, they announced the new MacBook Pro, which had the new keyboard. Turns out, they didn't do anything to help with this problem, and it started happening enough that Apple started an extended warranty program, so that if your MacBook keyboard failed, they would replace the entire top case and keyboard for free. But they didn't do anything about it. In 2018, the new MacBook Pro came out, and it got added to the warranty program immediately. The day that it got released. They also announced the new MacBook Air in October 2018 with the new keyboard. There was only one MacBook without this keyboard problem on their website, and that was the old MacBook Air 2017. In summer 2019, they refreshed the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, and they got rid of a 12-inch MacBook and the 2017 MacBook Air. Every Apple laptop type on Restore had this problem. Finally, in November 2018, they released the new 16-inch MacBook Pro, which reverted back to the old keyboard. Finally, everything was fixed. But MacBook Air users and 13-inch MacBook Pro users still had this garbage of a keyboard. A few days ago, in March 2020, Apple refreshed the MacBook Air with this new keyboard, now named the Magic Keyboard. And now only MacBook Pro 13-inch users will be at a loss if purchased new. There's rumors of a new MacBook Pro 13-inch to have the new Magic Keyboard and a 14-inch screen size. The problem comes when you take into consideration that everybody, including me, who had a MacBook from 2015 to 2019 is just stuck with this garbage keyboard. But after four keyboard replacements, Apple will usually replace your device with a newer model. I had a 2018 MacBook Pro and a 2018 MacBook Air currently, which have the butterfly keyboard. The MacBook Air currently has this problem, and it's had it once before. But my MacBook Pro had it twice before, and currently it's fine. I'm using it to record this video. Apple is currently selling a device on their website which is the 13 inch MacBook, which you can buy brand new, and most people will have this problem in less than six weeks. Some people can say this is just people not being careful with their devices. I just call it a laptop which has had this defect, which wasn't a problem ever before in the last years and years of Apple making laptops. Apple didn't listen to their customers for five years. Nobody wanted the MacBook Pro to be thinner and we got a bad keyboard in, in exchange. Some people just don't like the butterfly keyboard because it feels terrible. And Apple didn't give you any alternatives except an external keyboard until now. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing if you want to see more content just like this.